from Washington, this is VOA News. I'm David Byrd reporting. Republican presidential candidates vie for advantage ahead of five nominating contests on Saturday. Frontrunner Donald Trump has decided to skip a major conservative political conference outside Washington. Trump was scheduled to speak at the Conservative Political Action Conference Saturday, but said on Twitter that he would not attend. Republican National Committee Chairman Reince Priebus told the annual gathering in a Maryland suburb that whoever is the party's nominee will have the full support of the party. Some Republicans have been eager to derail the New York business mogul in the primary race that has been reduced to four competitors. U.S. Senators Ted Cruz of Texas and Marco Rubio of Florida and Governor John Kasich of Ohio are still in the race. Meanwhile, the other candidates, including Democratic contenders Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders, were preparing Friday for this weekend's presidential nominating contests. They're scheduled in at least five states, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, and Nebraska. Authorities in Yemen say at least 15 people, including four Christian nuns from India, were shot to death when militants burst into a retirement home in Aden. Sunita Kumar is a spokeswoman for the Sisters of Charity. This news is really shocking. Uh, the details that I get is uh, that uh, it happened at 8.30 in the morning, local time. Uh, while the sisters were serving breakfast. The dead included the four nuns, two Yemeni women who worked at the home, eight elderly residents, and a guard. No group has claimed responsibility for the attack. This is VOA News. Turkey says that its tanks shelled Islamic State positions in northern Syria and not those of the Syrian Kurdish YPG militia after the Kurdish group said that it had been attacked. The YPG said in a statement that two Turkish tanks fired dozens of shells at its positions in the area of Afrin in northwestern Syria. The French news agency reports that since mid-February, Turkish howitzers stationed just inside the border had shelled targets of the Syrian Kurdish Democratic Union Party and its armed wing, the YPG, inside Syria. The Turkish military said that it was responding to incoming fire. The United States had urged Ankara to halt its fire in the run-up to a partial ceasefire in Syria. Since then, there have been no reports of Turkey shelling the PYD, which Ankara accuses of being the Syrian branch of the outlawed Kurdistan Workers' Party. The U.S. economy had a strong net gain of 242,000 jobs last month, Friday's report from the Labor Department says that the unemployment rate stayed at an eight-year low of 4.9 percent. Speaking at the White House, President Obama said the economic data showed the doomsday rhetoric coming from some political campaigns is fantasy. Today, America's businesses are creating jobs at the fastest pace since the 1990s. America's workforce is growing at the fastest pace since the year 2000. It is showing the kind of strength and durability uh, that makes America's economy right now the envy of the world, despite the enormous headwinds uh, that it's receiving because of weaknesses in other parts of the world. The data showed 7.8 million Americans are still unemployed. Allegations of sex abuse and exploitation by U.N. peacekeepers and staff rose last year. From the U.N., Margaret Bashir has more. A new report from Secretary General Ban Ki-moon released Friday says there were 99 such allegations last year compared to 80 in 2014. 
Atul Kare, Undersecretary General for Field Support, condemned such misconduct at a news conference on Friday. That anyone serving under the UN flag should prey on the vulnerable is truly an abomination. More than half the peacekeeper-related abuse allegations were made against just two UN missions, MINUSCA in the Central African Republic and MINUSCO in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Missions in Haiti, Liberia, Ivory Coast and Mali also had a substantial number of allegations, while peacekeepers in Sudan's Darfur region, Abia and Cyprus were the subject of four cases. Margaret Bashir, VOA News, the United Nations. For more on these stories, visit our website. I'm David Byrd in Washington. That's the latest world news from VOA.